Thor just announced an all-electric RV concept vehicle. With 300 miles of range, is this the future of RVing? Let's find out. In order to make sure that this vehicle can go as far as possible on a single charge, Thor really made sure that the entire thing was as aerodynamic as possible. That's why you will not see standard side view mirrors here. They're instead replaced with digital ones and the entire body is just as aerodynamic as they could make it. Stepping inside, you'll immediately notice how wide and open it feels with this amazing accent lighting and this incredible moon roof on the top that really makes you feel like you're in some sort of spaceship. Inside the cockpit, everything is state of the art from this huge center console that will tell you how much further you can go on your charge to the digital side view mirrors that I mentioned before, right here on either side of the cockpit. Up top, we have the always on rear display, as well as more of that accent lighting right here in the cockpit. Just outside the cockpit is the command center. It's the screen that allows you to control everything inside your RV, like the lights and temperature, and it'll also tell you how much power you have left. Just past there is the entrance and exit to the vehicle, and then we have the kitchen. Now there's a couple of really cool things in the kitchen. I really like this pop-up television that can easily hide away. You'll also notice the Amazon speaker there because you can control all the lights with that smart speaker. My favorite feature though are the windows because they're smart windows, which means that you can make them frosted or defrost them with just a push of the button in the command center to give yourself privacy whenever you want it without having a actual window shade. On the other side of the kitchen, we have the oven and the pullout fridge and freezer. And next to that, we have a couch that has a Murphy bed that folds down on top of it. So this will also act as your bedroom. Now, once the couch is out, you can also kind of turn this into a dining room because there's a table inside here that you can just pull out and plop down so you can have your dinner. Moving out of the main living area, we enter the bathroom. And you can notice there's another one of these pop-ups here, but this one is for a lighted mirror. We have a nice basin sink in here that looks, I think it looks beautiful. And then we have the toilet down here. And up top, we have a bunch of storage. On the other side of the bathroom is a large closet. You also notice the vent at the top. That is where the AC pumps out of. Actually, all of the temperature control comes out of there. And then we have the stand-up shower right here that I was not allowed to go into. Don't open the shower. Oh, I'm sorry. But it looked really beautiful and like there's a lot of room in there. And then finally, in the very back of the van was some garage space, not a lot, but there's some here. So you see they have some backpacks hung up here. There's additional storage kind of underneath the floor here, storage in the doors as well. So you could definitely pack some stuff in here like your camping chairs. Now the team at Thor couldn't reveal exactly how this vehicle is powered yet, but they did say that it has a high voltage battery pack with an integrated fuel cell and a range extender. They are going to be utilizing an open network of level two or level three charge stations that already exist. So you won't need to go to a special one just for these Thor vehicles. And they do hope that they will have more of these charge stations available in campgrounds in the future. But for now, you could charge this at a campground with regular RV shore power. It'll just take longer to charge a vehicle using that. There's also built-in trip planning technology that will show you where you should stop along the way to charge the vehicle, and that way you never run out of energy on your trip. The goal here is to have these ready by 2024. The exact price is to be determined, and this is only a prototype, so this could change. So what do you guys think? Do you think 300 miles of range is enough for an RV? Let me know in the comment section down below. And since you made it this far in the video, while you're down there, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Then make sure to subscribe to the channel for more questionable van life content. And if you wanna see another tour of a different rig that we did, another RV, click right here, and we'll see you over at that video in just a second.